Hello and welcome to Hypothetical Hypocrite, a channel where I'm a hypocrite but I'm hypothetical about it. My name is Jeremy and here I play video games and just plain try to be entertaining. As you can see here on the screen, I'm going to be playing some more Undisputed today. My first fight of the day didn't go well at all and so far this second fight hasn't been going well either. It keeps freezing up on me in the middle of it so I'm not going to do it as a prize fight. I'm going to do it as a regular uh fight and see if we can make it through an entire match that way so we're going to be doing a rematch from last week uh with uh Krola versus Gotti and see how if I can actually win it last week it froze up as well so hopefully we can get through an entire fight and see how it goes but before we get started, if you do enjoy this type of content, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons, leave a comment and share. Any one of those would be great, but all four would be amazing just like you are. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this game. Alright, we're going to do quick fight. Of course, I'm going to be on the left side. Let's see, there's Gotti. Where's Krola? There he is. There. So Krola versus Gotti. They're pretty evenly matched, so that's good too. And let's do an outdoor fight. I'm Todd Grisham, and not nice a bad day crowd. for a fight. We are live at the Empire. Anthony Million Dollar Cro. All right, let's skip Usually ahead and get into this fight. And there's the bell to start round one. Both men step back for just a moment. Counter left. Solid punch. And this is a you hit me hard, I'll hit you hard type of fight. That left counter punch will score. Through the hook, didn't land. He missed with that jab. Oh, I cut him. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. And he just missed with that left jab. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night. Tonight for the judges. A counterfighter relies a lot on their instincts and reaction time. You've got to get in there quick to punch your opponent before he gets his fist back to block. You're fine to the counter punch. This is not the way he wanted this fight to start. Let's see if he can get out of trouble. I thought that was going to be a knockdown at least. Very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Wow, God, he just got clear. Dang. Well, there was no doubt about who won that I'm round. I'm doing good in this one. leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the corner's got to put a got fire cut over his left eye. It looks worse than, it, than they're showing. And there's the bell for round two. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Nice counter. They are not going to let this one go to the judges. One of those 
those fights where if you blink, you probably miss about three or four punches. That's the kind of output we're going to see. This is what you're going to get. You're going to get speed, good footwork. You're going to get punches thrown from head to body. You're going to get a lot of toe to toe. When you've got fighters at these weight divisions, they'll stand there. They don't, they don't need a ring. They need a phone box. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. There's a bit a of a low blow. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Good left counter that lands. Punch scores. He fails to score with that left hook. Looks like this fighter did not work on defense this training camp. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Dang. I promise you, all he three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they... I need to Let's bust get that eye open. Round three, coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. One of the best attributes to have in boxing has nothing to do with boxing. It's how well you can take a punch to the face. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Not a lot of defense here at all. What a punch. When we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shots. That can be the real difference. That power, that power might be the do or die. That power might be the, the, the equalizer. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. Tried to score with that hook, but missed. He misses with that jab. Both men step back for just a moment. Punch, counter punch. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Shot lands and Corolla in some serious trouble. Oh, I heard that never by so it. Is this big opportunity to finish the fights? Talk about a one-sided yeah, three good. minutes. We just saw dominance. The camera is not four. good. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. When you have a fighter that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's an uphill battle. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. the charge action from both of these fighters. There's no doubt that this fighter's power... And that has rocked Arturo Gotti! And right back into the fray. It's bombs 
the way. That's a stepping. Oh, and there's oh no way. And that one down goes Krola. Not cool. I cannot be the first one to go down like that. That is messed up. Well, they're back up on their feet, but I'm not sure why. Million Dollar Crowa in trouble. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Oof, that, that was not a good round. Are being put down. Things are starting to heat up now as we enter the fifth. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this guy's in store for us. What a knockdown. You know in the corner now, they're saying, when you get out there, jump on him. Do not give him chance to breathe. Bully him, throw him, push him down, punch him in the back. Keep letting the shots go because you know they won't shake your leg. They're a Nazi away from getting stopped. Left hook misses. Power is obviously the great equalizer in boxing, but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily, how do you deal with it? This could be really intimidating, Todd. If you know somebody's got the punch power, someone's got the speed, someone can take you out with a simple jab, it can be intimidating. Just depends on how confident you are as a fighter. Nice counter shot. They are not going to let this one go to the judges. So much firepower here. Nice job landing with that right hand counter. back out of the pocket here. Look how slow these punches are. Left punch. Great counter right hand there. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Oof, uh, as bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no... This, this is the beginning of round six. Coming off that fantastic last round. Only round Let's see if he can keep his two. momentum going. Beautiful counter shot. Stamina is so important for these two fighters because it allows them to use their skills throughout the match. It can all come down to who's in better shape. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a the fight. They've got to relax. He just misses with that jab. And so far, the offense has been better than the defense. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. That punch lands. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. is obviously the great equalizer in boxing but when you know your opponent is relying on that so heavily how do you deal with it sometimes when you get in there with someone that's so powerful oh and there's no way no that one down goes crawler not cool
Let's see how the game plan changes. Not after good that at all. Night. And there's the bell for round seven. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. Oh, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full bow because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. Beautiful counterpunch. They are not going to let this one go to the judges. They call it the chin. How strong is your chin? Do you have a glass chin? These are things that can affect the fight. The problem with having a chin that everybody knows if they hit you, you're hurt, you're gone. You've got to protect that, but you've also got to get your shots off. And they forget, you can bang too. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. And he misses with that jab. Fighter will say no moss. Do you believe what we are seeing? This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that Far into the next too round? close. I seriously hope that you... And we enter the eighth round. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through? Don't get trigger happy because all of a sudden you're going to be gassing yourself out trying to get that shot and that's when they catch you. Nice punch. Nice counter shot with the right hand. Just rocked Arturo Gotti. This is serious business now. Can he get out of this big pressure situation? And down goes Got him. Arturo Gotti. Got him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Knockout. it but we've got a knockout victory accuracy power punch perfect that must hurt wow yeah i enjoyed that one it's always fun when you win especially when it's a comeback win and I was up in the scorecards on all of them, but by one point only. That's how dang close it was. But I hope you guys enjoyed yourself as much as I enjoyed playing it. Um, if you did, you know what to do. Hit those buttons, leave a comment. Let me know who you'd like to see fight against each other. I'd be more than happy to do that for you. But with that being said, I hope you all have a great one. And I'll see you in the next video.